Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? How was how was your how good was evening, your work teacher. today? Good evening. Good evening. How was work today? Fine. Fine. I I had a, a good day today. I had a um really quiet and I had many sometimes to to see videos in YouTube about uh condition. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. Uh, okay. I need right. it. <laughs> so so what do you learn? Uh I I learned that uh, there is a third condition and I I start to 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 watch the video of Sears condition and I remember that uh, we have one con uh, first condition and second conditional and I I I watch the that videos too and I understand so, so. <laughs> all right okay and and what were those videos about <clears throat> in in YouTube there is uh, um, I there are there are several uh, people talking uh, about the conditionals and there is um um i i i don't i don't remember the the name uh invented ah. i don't know i don't remember the where is i started but uh that is interesting oh my god well Mr. Lee. No. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let it right. I, I share those those videos with the group. But what are they? What are they? The class after the class. <clears throat> all right. Okay, all right. That's 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 good then, okay. What about you, Jenny? How was your work today? I work in on the on the platform platform platform. platform. Mm -hmm. In the all final right. test. Okay, all right. Uh what about you, Luis? How are you? Well, how's your cattle? Um, was the Today was very busy because uh, the person who was supposed uh, to help me didn't show up. So I had uh, to clean the lemon tree um, from 6 a.m. to 12 noon. Very hard, very hard. Wow, that's a lot of work. Yes. Okay. Yes, today is... Very, very busy. That's a lot of work. What about you, Evelyn? Hello. How was your work? Mm, I think the same as always. Uh, tired. <laughs> uh, and also, it was a little bit unbearable because the heat was so uh, so terrible. Uh, and I sweat a lot through the whole day. And, uh, <laughs> and it was a little uncomfortable. But mm, uh, and overall, I guess... Yeah, it okay. was okay. It's on the shame. It's on the Okay. All right. Very good. Yes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna miss you guys. All right, guys. So remember, if you're not participating, mute yourself. Right.
Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. All right. So All right, you guys send the link. So guys, yesterday we were talking about uh, conditionals, right? How to use how to use um hold on side presentation. How to use uh, unless, right? Many. Now, so so we had a hard time, guys, understanding unless. But Patricia, what do you learn about it? Oh, you're 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 muted. Yes. Um. Uh, teacher, do, do you want to? I read that um, sentence. Okay, all right, go ahead. Yeah, yes, please. Okay, using only if. Definition is only if. Definition of only if. How to use only if in the unreal conditional. Differentiating only in from if. If from if. Examples of unreal conditional sentence with only if. Okay, all right, all right, very good. So, uh, yes, no, but but I'm talking about I'm talking about the um, examples, guys, with unless, right? So we we're talking about unless yesterday, okay? And you were giving me examples. So now I want to conclude talking about unless, guys, because we need to move on, okay? But remember, unless it's it's used for Exceptions, right? Okay, so now guys, right in today's agenda, I want to talk about only if, okay? And only if is a conditional, okay? So again, guys, you know, if we go back to second, right, to second conditionals, right? We know that they're used to talk about imaginary situations. And yesterday we were saying, you know what, I would, I think Louis, you gave me this example. What was, what was your example yesterday, Louis? The one that you had in your notebook? Oh yes. Um, I will. I will get more because it, uh, get is the. I will get more milk production unless I bought more cows. Okay, I would get right. So yes, exactly, right? That was that was the example. Yes. I would get more milk production, right? Unless I bought more cow. Right. Unless I bought I bought right more, more cow. cows. Cow. Okay. And in this case, guys, right? In this case, we said, okay, so is he getting, right? Is he getting enough good milk production? Yes or no? <clears throat> He's currently not getting more milk production, right? So in this case, this would need to be changed to change to negative, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that, that's the thing. You gotta make, make sense of the context, okay? So now, um, give me another another example, guys, because we didn't have enough time yesterday. Give me another example with unless. I am, I am going to work in the garden this afternoon, unless it's rain. Okay, I'm going to work. I'm going to work in the garden this afternoon, unless it's rain. I'm going to work in the garden this afternoon unless unless it's rain. Unless it rains. 
Yes, rains. Now, but this is, is this a second conditional guess or not? No, there isn't. I think no teacher because the first verb is, is in past, simple past. No. And here is uh, going to is uh, progressive. Okay. All right. Exactly, right? So no, this is not an example in First, well, well, yeah, but yesterday I asked you when is first conditional and in second, second conditional, right? Okay, so is this, okay, so this is first conditional, right? So is this example correct? I'm going to go to work in the garden this afternoon unless it rains. Is that correct? May I teach you? Go ahead. Uh, instead of I'm going to, I will, I will work in the garden. Okay, uh, what was your example? I'm sorry. Oh, well, I have an example, of course. Okay, no, I mean, give me the, say, tell me the, the, the example. Repeat what you said, please. In this in this uh, example, we can change I'm going to or I will work in the cards. No, but I need, I need this with I would. So uh, be, ah, I will work the, in the garden. I will this, work in the garden. This afternoon. Uh-huh. And let's. Unless it rains okay. now. Is it's this rained. A... It, it rained. It okay. rained. Okay. So in this, it, unless it rained, in past, right? In past rain, rained. Okay. Now, is this example correct? Yes. Work in the garden this afternoon. Hey, good and work. Yes. It's correct. <laughs> Okay, so I would work in the garden. It says in the garden, right? I would work in the garden, the garden this afternoon, unless it rains. So, okay, all right, yeah, that, that actually makes sense, okay? I have one. Go ahead. I will buy a mansion unless and I get a millionaire. Unless, okay, I would buy a mansion. Uh, unless, unless I were a millionaire. I were a millionaire. Now, is this correct, guys? What do you think? Analyze the context. This one, this is a very good example. I would buy a mansion unless I were a millionaire. Yes, it's past simple past. This correct. I think it should be a negative the first sentence. I wouldn't buy mention unless I were a millionaire. Maybe. Okay, right. I, okay, I like that example. What was it? I wouldn't buy a mention. Millionaire. I wouldn't buy a mention unless, unless. I were a millionaire. All right, I like this one. Okay, now, can can somebody please explain, guys, why this one doesn't sound correct and this one is correct? It's a possibility. <clears throat> because in the first sentence, uh, and instead of using unless, it, it would be better to use if. Okay. 
Exactly, right? So in the first example, I would buy a mansion if I were a millionaire, right? Not unless I were a millionaire, okay? Because in this case, guys, you could say, I wouldn't buy a mansion unless I were a millionaire. And that's that's the, the, the big difference between them both, right? It's saying, hey, it's like saying like the, it's like saying it like this, guys. Hey, no me compraría una mansión. Nunca me compraría una mansión, right? I would never buy a mansion. A menos que fuera un millonario. Got yes. it? Yes. But in the first sentence, you're saying, me compraría una mansión a menos que fuera un millonario. So, so that means, right? Que sí. si son millonarios, no te la vas a comprar. Got it? Yes, yes. All right, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so... <laughs> if you put it like that, it sounds a little bit confusing, but it's not, guys. It's really not, okay? Yeah. All right, it's not. But you got to understand, right? That That's why this is very important yeah. because... Yeah. They are, they mean very different things, okay? You could say, I will buy a mansion, right? Unless I am a millionaire, right? And this is incorrect too. You need to say, I won't buy a mansion, right? I won't buy a mansion unless I am a millionaire, right? Because it's, you know, it's a, it's it's an exception, right? So, you know, Unless you know we have the exception of becoming a millionaire, okay? So that's what it is, guys, okay? So now let's move on, guys, to the next topic, okay? Which is, guys, only if, right? So we're gonna talk about only if, okay? So what do we use only if for? So only if, guys, can be used like this, okay? So let's see, all right, let's take a look at one example here, right? So I could say, and remember, we're, we're gonna be using this with second conditions, right? I would buy a car only if I get- You pay me. <laughs> unless, well, unless, right. <laughs> only if, only if I- you if you pay me if you pay only if i get paid won the lottery lottery or you can say only if i won the lottery right i would buy a car only if i get paid okay so um is this a real situation do you have does this person <clears throat> have a car no it's pathetic it's hypothetical, right? Um, yes. So Sandra, I'm gonna use your example and let's see guys if we can make some corrections here. My husband wouldn't continue. <clears throat> let's correct this here. My husband wouldn't continue working so, so hard only if he found a driver. And this is, we don't need a comma there. We're gonna use the comma, guys, if we use the, the clause, the if clause first, okay? So my husband wouldn't continue working so hard, so hard unless he found a driver. O only if he found a driver, right? Is this correct, guys? Analyze it, okay? We use only if, guys, all right? We use only if for unreal situations too. Okay, from real situations, and there is a condition, right? So, but only if, guys, only if means, hey, you know what? I only have one condition, guys. So only if means one condition, okay? Right? Only if this condition is met, okay? All right, so for example, All right, so Sandra, um, okay, Sandra, that's okay. So my husband wouldn't continue working, working so hard and then only if he found a driver. So Rafael, 
So what do you think? Is this sentence correct or not? And why? Mm, I don't know. Okay, I think right. that the verb continue isn't here. Okay, continue should not be there. Is that what you mean? No, yes, right. Okay, I have dog. All right. okay. Um, okay, who else, guys? Who else wants to step in and give me your insight? I think it's correct. You, you think it's correct? Why? Because it's only one condition. But it, it, it's not, it's not um, in, in hypothetic situation. It's real situation. Okay. May I teach you? May yes, go ahead. Uh, I think that he wouldn't continue working so hard if he found a driver. Exactly, right? So, right? My husband wouldn't continue working so hard only if, <laughs> right? If he found a driver, right? Okay. So, in this case, guys, is this, all right, does, does her husband work hard? Yes, he works hard. He works hard? But he he wouldn't continue work working hard if he found uh, who drive his car. Ex exactly, right? Now, this only if <clears throat> isn't correct, okay? We can't use it here. My husband wouldn't continue working so hard only if he found a driver, okay? So why would this be incorrect? What's the difference between, you know, I would buy a car only if I get paid a lot? So what is the difference, guys, between these two examples? Why is the first one incorrect? I mean, they follow the same structure, right? Except for, you know, wouldn't, right? Or does that affect something? Um, <clears throat> um, if, if he is paying a lot i think that he wouldn't buy a car unless he won a lot of money but um all right let's let's okay guys so let's make a <laughs> let's make a move sure if the person uh, has a good job he could buy the car Okay, all right, guys, let's let's put in put this into the picture, right? I would buy a car, right? So in theory, okay, so you got the character over here thinking about <laughs> buying a car, but he doesn't have any car right now, right? No car for Mr. Poor, right? So there is no car, right? I would buy a car only if I get paid a lot, right? So mm -hmm. basically, guys, okay, this action doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And this is a possibility, right? The UU is a possibility, right? So this could only happen if this happens. Do we all agree? Yes. This is what I understand, right? Yeah. But take a look at this. My husband, and this is a good example because this is how, you know, grammar, 
right? You know the you know the grammar structure, but the grammar structure doesn't because you you have a good grammar structure doesn't mean that you have a um, you know a sentence that makes sense, right? So if we say if we say uh, my husband wouldn't continue working so hard, first of all, okay, her husband works a lot, right? So her husband is all day doing this, right? <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying to, I'm gonna draw a hammer, okay? So, you know, so this is, <laughs> right? This is her husband, <laughs> right? So. And he works a lot, right? That's what I understand. Do you understand that he works a lot or not? Yes. Yes or no, guys? Do you yes. understand? Yes, he works okay. a lot. Okay, all right, very good, right? According to the sentence, right? Not in real life. In real life, that could be different. <laughs> but that's okay, right? That's okay. So, unless, you know, unless he works a lot, right? So anyways, so, so, and then it says, only if he found a driver. Only if, guys, is like saying, unless. It's the same thing. So think about it. My husband wouldn't continue working so hard only unless he found a driver. Right? So does, does this make sense? Yes, right? Would you say that, that makes sense or not? Yes, makes sense. Yes. Okay. All right, so so he works, okay? We know that he works, right? In the imaginary situation is that he would not be working so hard, right? And then it says, only if he found a driver. But in this case, guys, what happens when he finds a driver? Will he work hard or not? working hard. He can get a good rest. <laughs> he could what? Uh, he can get a good rest. I think that if we are going to use only if, it would be, uh, I don't know, my husband would get a good rest if he, only if he found a driver. Only if he found a driver. You can say my husband would would get would, would get, be able yeah. to rest, right? Would be would be able to rest, right? To rest only if he found a driver. But in that case, guys, is this does does this mean does this mean unless? Because okay, right? Let's let's put this this example. I would buy a car only if I get paid a lot, right? I would buy a car on, only if or unless I get paid a lot. Can we use it here, guys? Can we use it in unless I get paid a lot? Or I wouldn't. Ah, okay. So guys, this is actually okay. So only if, guys, only if, right? Works as unless, but it's in the opposite way, right? It's contradiction, but it's opposite. So, cause in this example, right? So in this case, it makes sense, right? My husband would be able to rest only, right? Only if he found a driver, but we could not be using here unless, okay? Cause we, if we say unless guys, it will change the whole meaning of the sentence. Oops, I'm just gonna erase this, okay? So here, Unless, okay. All right. Uh, so we're gonna say unless. All right. Now here, guys, unless and only if does not have the same meaning. Okay. You can use it, guys, when the only condition that this 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 would happen. If this was the only condition with with this only with this condition in mind, right? 
if we used unless here instead of only if, you know, unless I get paid a lot, we would need to change the first clause. And we would, the first clause should be, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't buy a car unless I get paid a lot. Right? No me compraría un carro a menos que me paguen. Montón, right? But then we say, I wouldn't buy a car only if. Right? Yes. Right? No me compraría un carro. Solo <laughs> si me pago un montón. Right? No, you can you cannot use it like that. No. No. Why? No, I wouldn't because you need to say I would buy a car. Okay. okay. Let me okay. let me let me give you a more simple example, guys. Okay. Let's do let's do this, okay. All right, so let's go with only if, right? Okay, so now let's go ahead, let's put it here. Okay, so I'm gonna say I would buy a car. Can you guys choose if I need to say only if, or if I can say, you know, unless, or I can say unless, is this thing over here. okay and let's see what the difference is okay? okay so i would buy a car only is if or unless right and then the rest of the sentence is what is the rest of the sentence right i only if I get up a, a lot. I earned a lot of money, okay? Let's go with I earned a lot of money. All right. So now, if I say, guys, I would buy a car only if I earned a lot of money. Is that is that correct or not? Does that make sense? I earned, I earned a lot. I earned. Yes, I think that is correct. Okay. So basically, I'm saying, guys. All right, basically I'm saying, you know, if this happens, right? If this right here happens, okay. <clears throat> sorry. If this right here happens, right? If this right here happens, This would happen, okay? And I say would because we don't know, right? We don't know if it'll happen or not because we're still talking about imaginary situations. Right? So we're gonna say this over here, okay? This would happen if this happens, okay? So I would buy a car only if I earned a lot of money. So by the way, guys, by the way, right? When we say only if, it's like saying if, okay? It's the same thing. But the only part, guys, is talking about, this is the only reason why, okay? This is the only way, you know, it could happen, right? Basically, when we say, guys, when we say the word only, we're talking about, hey, you know what? That is the only the only way that could happen, okay? okay? All right, now, when you say, guys, I would buy a car unless I earned a lot of money. So what is the difference here? Now, let's, let's, let's take a look, right? So if this happens, right? Unless I would, I would buy a car, Mm -hmm. I wouldn't buy a car. I wouldn't. Yes, I yes. wouldn't buy a car, but unless I earn a lot of money. Okay, guys. So, okay, so guys, basically, guys, if you say I would buy a car unless this happens, we need to change the sentence here. 
and say, I yeah. wouldn't, I wouldn't buy a car, right? Unless I earned a lot of money. So in this case, guys, we're talking about, you know, we're gonna do it like this, okay? <clears throat> this will or not happen, guys. This won't happen, right? Or this wouldn't happen. Okay. Right? Except if this happens. Okay, and that's what we call unless an exception, guys. All right? So, all right, so we're gonna put it like this, right? Whatever, all right? So in this case, guys, so in this case, right? This is the big difference between them both, okay? This over here, this will here over here would happen, right? If this happens, but this over here wouldn't happen except if this happens, right? All right, does that make more sense now? Okay. So with that being said, guys, let's analyze more, more examples, right? So if I say, I wouldn't buy a car, remember this will happen, right? The fact that I wouldn't buy a car, only if this happens, right? Only if I earned a lot of money. I wouldn't buy a car, only if I earned a lot of money. So in this case, you're saying, hey, you know what? We're saying that this would happen, right? So the fact that you would not buy a car if you earned a lot of money. So that means, guys, that means that if I earned a lot of money, right? This is what it means. Let's try to use only if, guys. Only, but I mean only the clause if, okay? If okay. if yeah. I earned uh, a lot that. of money, I, I would. wouldn't I would. buy. Hold on, I wouldn't buy a car. Okay. So guys. So if I, uh, what I'm saying here, guys, I wouldn't buy a car only if I earned a lot of money. So I'm saying, um, I would buy a car. No, wouldn't. No. no, no. In this case, guys, in this case, right? In this case, you're saying that if you earned a lot of money, you will, you would not buy a car, and that's that's my point. Okay. okay. So that, that is true. So you need car. you need to say, right? You need to say, if I earned a lot of money, I would buy a car. So I wouldn't, so here that would be, I would buy a car only if I earned a lot of money, right? And check okay. it out. If you said it in Spanish, right? Compraría un carro solo si ganara un montón de dinero. Sí? Y aquí yeah. estás diciendo, yeah. y aquí tiene que ser, no compraría un carro, right? Yes. No compraría un carro, okay. a menos que ocurriera la excepción de que ganara un montón de dinero, ¿ok? No compraría un carro, a menos que ganara un montón de dinero, ¿right? Okay. Porque si vos decís okay. aquí, si vos decís aquí, com, no comp, si vos decís aquí, compraría un carro a menos que ganara, ganara, ganara un montón de dinero, that mm -hmm. doesn't make sense, ¿right? No, yes. ¿Right? That's, that's the thing, ¿ok? Yeah, yeah. All right, so guys, okay, so I want you to do one thing right now, okay? Try to try to give me your own examples, whatever examples you want, okay? Whatever examples you want with, on, one with on left, unless, and one with only if, okay? I want you to do them in pairs. So please take a screenshot, guys. I'll, I'll take a screenshot and send it to the chat, okay? Um, Take a screenshot and um, I want you guys to come up with 10 examples, five with only if and five with unless, okay? But make sure that they make sense, okay? They have to make sense because both of them can be used with the same grammar rules, right? 
you, you combine a you know present conditional with a simple past tense. However, you know, they mean different things. So whatever you mean, guys, okay, please follow what you see on the screen, okay? Remember that unless it's, you know, with the exception of, right? So that's what I want you to do, guys. Let's go ahead because we're running out of time again. <laughs> Let's go. This this topic is is it's very crazy, guys. Right? <laughs> All right, very good. Let's go, guys. Hi, Ailey. Hello, Brittany. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good, thanks. Sorry for the background noise. If you hear some. Well, I think we can start. We have to do five examples with only if and five examples with unless. Yes, uh, I have the example with only if sure go ahead uh, i will pass the exams with good maker only if i study mm. i don't know it's correct you you talk about that i'm not gonna give you the answers right now you tell, okay, you, you analyze it, okay? I need you to analyze it. That's the point, right? If I said, if you give me examples, asking me if it is correct or not, it's like guessing, right? I don't want you to guess. I want you to understand the idea behind it, okay? Okay. So I'll help you later, but right now you determine if it is correct, okay? No, no, no quiero que adivinen, que den oraciones adivinando, it's like, no. De verdad, analicen si, si tiene sentido la oración o no, ¿ok? All right. Ok. okay. Can, can you repeat it? Because I was like trying to. All right. So remember, girls and guys, that it's uh, in group, right? Right. Let's hear both. Or, and analyze it, ¿ok? Analyze it. Just, just analyze what you want to say. How do you say enredados? <laughs> enredados? <laughs> this Angled? topic is sorry? Oh, you mean you mean that you're confused? <laughs> yes, this topic is confused. It's confusing. Yes. This topic is confusing. No, just just talk like you would talk in real life. Do not overanalyze it, okay? Just just pretend it's all right, try it, try it, Catherine. Catherine's got one example. Yes, Catherine. Oh, your microphone. Oh, it's just that her microphone is not working. <laughs> okay, but, okay. Uh, so while you're sending it, I see I can't speak. Yeah, no, I understand. So while you're doing it, okay, work together, come up with 10 examples. Just say something that you would say in real life, okay? And mm -hmm. analyze if that makes sense, right? Uh, teacher, is is it right, this example? I wouldn't buy a motorcycle unless I bought another. Yes. Yeah, that's that's correct. So you're saying that... That is correct, but but I'm confused. I'm confused about the idea, um, the idea because you have, so that means that you have a motorcycle already, right? Right. And you're saying that you would, you would buy another motorcycle, unless you had a motorcycle. You're saying no compraría otra motocicleta menos que tuviera otra motocicleta. 
That's what you said. Uh -huh. is, is that what you wanted to say? Yes. No. But that, <laughs> the, it, the sentence no. is correct, no. but, but I don't understand the no. idea. I, I wouldn't buy a motorcycle unless I sell. I sold. I, I sold um, the actually motorcycle. The 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 motor the actual motors no, my no. current motorcycle my my current motorcycle, my current. current yes, or you can say actual to my actual motor, my the, or you can say the motorcycle that I currently own. Okay. But that is okay. correct. Yes, I wouldn't buy a motorcycle or I wouldn't buy a new motorcycle unless I sold the one that I own. That I own. Okay. So that is great. <laughs> that makes sense, right? No compraría oh. otra motocicleta a menos que vendiera la que ya tengo. Got it? So okay. that is great. I, I got it. Yes. She would date with you only if you get over your ex. That is, the idea is perfect. The usage of only if is correct, Catherine. But the only thing that you need to correct there is, there, is, there shouldn't be the preposition to with. Because date is a verb. You say date you. She would date you only if you get over your ex, right? Date you. Not date with you. Date you. Okay? But the example is fine, right? Right? Ella saldría contigo solo si. Okay, teacher. I'm now, sorry. I can speak up like louder. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So the only um, correction is the width, right? Yes, and also the you need okay. to use simple past, right? So this would be the right example. She would date you only if you got you got you know, over you got over, right? Over your ex, exactly. She okay. would date you only if you got over your ex, right? Okay. Okay, right. thank you. Right. Oh, excellent. Okay, so come up with more examples, guys. Okay. Stay, uh, uh, I'm gonna say my uh, I'm gonna stay home this weekend. Yes. Um, stay home this weekend, uh -huh, this weekend, uh -huh. unless my friend invited me to go out. Unless my friend invited me to go out, invite, invited, uh -huh, invited, uh -huh, invest, right? Invited me. Understand, understand this topic very well. This topic mm -hmm. very well. Yes. Are there any questions? Yes, teacher. Yes. Tell me. Yes. And this topic is very difficult to, <laughs> uh, to ask. I for us. I try to I try to to do or to make sentences um, with another example <laughs> is more difficult. For example, Mr. Um, um, I wouldn't continue in this course unless I understand this topic very well. <laughs> I don't know, it's correct? No. Uh -huh. The the idea is correct, but you you're not using the structure of a second conditional. No. When, okay. My question, teacher, is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First, yeah. Jancy, and then oh, hold on, okay. Joaquin, Joaquin, hold on, okay. right? So yes, Jancy, what the the structure of a second conditional? You're forgetting something about second conditionals. Yes. Um, I wouldn't continue in this course unless. I don't know. Unless what? Unless I understand. And what is the structure of a second conditional? Um, the second conditional to be some real conditional? But what is the structure? Um, I don't have the structure. Okay, 
do we use simple past or simple present for second conditionals? Uh, simple past. All right, I'm giving, you the, I'm giving you the answer. Understood? Exactly. I understood this topic very well. Yes, and that is, that is, that is, now that is, that makes sense. That is correct. Yes. Okay. You got it? All right, very good. Yes, Joaquin, go ahead. My, my question is, teacher, uh, when is, when are we going to, to use, um, and only if or unless we use we use them like in the same in yes, the same in the, in the same way you would you you know in the same situations yes. you would use them in in spanish because it literally means unless it is you know a menos que right mm -hmm. and only if it's solo si mm -hmm. so it's like in what situation do you use on, on you know, a menos que. Mm. For example, yeah. Mr. Okay. And hold, hold in this hold, sentence. Hold on, hold on. Yes. The, okay. Hold on. So <laughs> let me let me finish with Joaquin first and then I'll answer yours. Okay. So for example, right? Um and and we should not be saying it in Spanish, guys, but that's just so you don't you don't get confused. Give me a sentence, Joaquin, with a menos que. And it has to be yeah. unreal, right? Uh huh. I mean, okay. um, for example, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy a car unless I won a lottery. Right. Very good. Right. I wouldn't mm -hmm. buy a car unless uh -huh. I won the lottery. And yes. this is correct, right? Because you're saying no me compraría un carro, right? Uh huh. La única forma de que me comprara un carro es si me ganara el lotería. Mm -hmm. Right? Pretende que unless means la única manera de que pase lo primero que decís. Right? Mm -hmm. is, is if you do the same thing. Right? Yes. All right? So, and here you could say, you could say, I would buy a car. Mm -hmm. Right? Only if I won the lottery. Uh -huh. Right? Y eso significa lo mismo que arriba. Uh -huh. Right? Pero esto no es Pero, con la excepción de solo que me compraría uh -huh. un carro solo si ganó la lotería. Right? Uh -huh. Y la otra es no me compraría un carro a menos que. Uh -huh. Si vos oh, pusieras yeah. me compraría un carro a menos que ganar la lotería, no tiene mucho sí. sentido. Right? Sí. Right? Yes. When, you, uh, Mister, when you use only if, you don't use wouldn't. Or you can... You can use... Yes. You can use wouldn't, wouldn't yes. Uh, for example, I wouldn't buy a house only if I get married. Yes, but that doesn't make sense. That's the point. <laughs> Tra translate it, translate it, and tell me if it makes sense. I wouldn't. Yeah, translate it, translate it the whole sentence, yes. In the Spanish? Yes. Yo, yo, com yo no compraría una casa a menos que me casara. No, he's, you said only if, right? Only if, yes. I'm um, Okay, solo si. Solo si me casara. Okay. So, in that case, that would be, I would buy a house, right? Compraría okay. una casa solo si me okay. casara. Mm -hmm. Right? Ah, yeah. o sea, eh, oye, es que no tiene sentido. No me compraría una casa solo si me casara. <laughs> ¿Verdad que no tiene sentido? No. no. Right? Porque, o sea, si te casas quiere decir que solo así no vas a comprar una casa. Oh, yeah. Y si, y si, y si no te casas... Buy a house. <laughs> si, I, okay, exactly. Okay, entonces si vos decís, si vos decís, I would, I would buy a house, I wouldn't buy a house unless I get married. I mean, oh, only yeah. if I get married, right? Mm -hmm. Si decís mm -hmm. eso, quiere decir, quiere decir um, que, que, que vas a pasar comprando casas y vas a parar de comprar casas hasta que te, hasta que te cases. ¿Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Does that make I sense? Only, only if. Yes. All right. That would be with only. Mm -hmm. You could say, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't get upset. Mm -hmm. Only if. if 
that happened. No me, no me molestaría solo si eso pasara. Right? Now you can use it like this, right? I wouldn't get upset only if that happened. Right? I'm saying, hey, you know what? Con la rara excepción de que eso pasara, yo no me estaría molesto por eso, right? You can use it like that. Okay, only if I wouldn't. Okay. All right, so we're going to go back now because I want to explain that to everybody, right? Now, is it is it clear for you, Joaquin and Yancy? Is it a little bit clear? It's, it's, it's near clear. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't I worry. close, yes. Don't worry. Yes. I, think, I, I think I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to clarify a lot. We need, I'm gonna we need to, 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 to study more on this topic. Yes, 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 yes. We need to study for two years now. No, guys, it's not yeah. complicated. Don't worry. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, let's go back now. <laughs> Hey guys, all right. So I was listening to some of your examples. Okay, I wanna tell you something guys. If, for you not to make your life too complicated, okay? I could say I would, I would, um, I would buy, let's use the same, I would buy a car only if I earned a lot of money okay now this is not always the case guys but if you want just pretend that this part right here will be positive okay and then i wouldn't buy a car unless i earned a lot of money right and pretend that this part right here is going to be negative okay when we use only if, guys, these, these two things, guys, mean the exact same thing, okay? But if you, use, if you use unless, it has to be negative, okay? I'm going to give you the translation so you understand. Compraría un carro solos, solamente si, solo si, solo si ganara mucho dinero. And here you, you say, no compraría un carro a menos que ganara mucho dinero. Do they mean the same thing, guys? Yes or no? Guys, realmente no es complicado. Si lo entendés en español, lo entendés en inglés, guys. That's it. So, do they, do they mean the same? Do, do they mean the same thing? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes, you need money. You don't yes. have car. <laughs> right, guys. That's that's the difference, right? Imagínense que yo no pasara esto en negativo. Compraría un carro, right? Compraría un carro a, a menos que ganara mucho dinero, right? So that means. Esto, esto, ahora le pregunto, ¿compraría un carro a menos que ganara mucho dinero? ¿Does that make sense? No, no, no. no. In Spanish, no. yes, but in English. No, in Spanish doesn't make sense. No, in Spanish. That people in, speak, but. In, in Spanish, in Spanish means the exact same thing that it means in English. It's the exact same thing. ¿Compraría un carro a menos que ganara mucho dinero? Yes. No, it doesn't make sense, right? No, diría, exactly. No compré un carro. Eso quiere decir que si compras un carro, si, te, si, si ganaras mucho dinero, si te compras. Al decir que no comprarías un carro a menos que, guys, <laughs> quiere decir que sí te lo comprarías. Got it? Si ganaras mucho dinero. Got it? Yeah, yeah. All right. And that is the difference, guys. Okay. So, guys. Teacher, teacher, no. vamos a estudiar mañana. Um, I'm going to find out because I have not received any message. I would suppose so. I would say, I would say yes. Guys, I have no. to, I have to go. I would say yes, guys, but I'll let you know. Okay. See you guys. Okay. See you. Thank you. Okay. See yes. you. Bye.